Now we're going to focus our attention on the derivatives of inverse functions. By the end of this video, we'll create a general formula for the derivative of any inverse function with a couple of caveats. So let's start with a basic example, y equals mx plus b. Back in algebra, when you had to find the inverse of y equals mx plus b, you were taught to switch x and y and then solve for y. So let's do that. Here we have y, uh, x equals m times y inverse plus b. To solve for y inverse, I'll subtract b. So we have m times y inverse is equal to x minus b. And now we can divide everything by m. So y inverse is equal to 1 over m times x minus b over m. Now you'll notice that the slope of y is m. And the slope of y inverse is 1 over m. So for linear inverse functions, the derivatives are multiplicative inverses of each other. As a visual example, we know that inverse functions are symmetric about the line y equals x. So consider some line with slope 2. We now know that the inverse of that slope is going to be 1 over 2. Let's use this information now to create a general formula for the derivative of every inverse function. We know about inverse functions that f of its inverse is equal to x as given by the symmetry of inverse functions. Let's take the derivative of this right here. Here we have f of stuff. We're going to have to use chain rule. The derivative of f of stuff is f prime of stuff times the derivative of the stuff. And the stuff here is f inverse. And now this is all equal to the derivative of x, which is 1. Well, now we can solve for the derivative of f inverse by dividing both sides by f prime of f inverse. And we get the derivative of f inverse of x is equal to 1 over f prime of f inverse of x. And this right here is the general formula for inverse functions. 1 over f prime of f inverse. 